Hi everyone, today we are going to be taking a look at Chromium OS for the Raspberry Pi. This is one of the best operating systems to use your Raspberry Pi as a desktop computer. Let's get right to it. So right here I have Chromium OS installed on my Raspberry Pi. And there are two different versions of this. This is the normal version. The other version has the Play Store and other things like that. So this doesn't have such functionality, but I think it's still a great operating system. Let's take a look. So this is basically like Chrome OS. And so we have basically everything is built around the Chromium web browser right here. But we can also run Linux apps on this. So if we go to our settings right here, then we can go to search here, go to Linux and we can turn this on. However, you do have to resize the partition in order to do this. So basically everything is based around the browser, but there are lots of web apps. And this operating system, another reason why I really like it is because it runs very well on the Raspberry Pi. So beyond the browser, there's basically Linux and not it. And you do have, you know, a little bit of a UI. You have a file manager where you can have files. And that's really about it. So it's a very basic operating system, but it's very reliable and everything like that. So you do have to install the Keep Awake extension, otherwise it will randomly reboot, but that is very easy to do. And once you do that, everything will be working very well. This operating system has been improving a lot recently. So when I first tried it, it was totally unusable for the most part, you know, for daily usage. But now it's a great option, one of the best options. The reason why I think it's one of the best options is because reliability. Like Raspberry Pi OS, it's very stable. However, like if you change something, then it can kind of mess things up. And you know, this is just a great operating system. It doesn't give you as much functionality, but it's something that is not going to get messed up. So another thing, you know, if you don't do as much stuff on Raspberry Pi OS, you know, customizations and stuff, that may be a good option too. But another thing about that is the Chromium Sync doesn't work on that anymore, whereas it does on Heather. So let's test out the performance of this operating system now that we've talked about all that. So first thing we are going to do is go to my channel right here. And once this loads up, we are going to go to a video. So let's go to this one. So if we set the resolution right here, let's just go to the maximum. And let's do stats for nerds. After it buffers, we can play it. And it's playing very well, which is one of the things that I really like about this operating system. It plays video very, very well. So no dropped frames so far. Let's see if we move the mouse. I guess we do kind of, we can kind of drop some, but it's just one that we've dropped. So it's not that big of a deal. But this plays video totally fine. So also if we go right here, let's go to raspberrypi.com. And so there are some web apps that we can use. I'm not going to go through all of them right now, but you can use web apps for the basic things to the most complex things. There are lots of web apps out there. My thumbnails, for example, I use Canva. That is a web app. It runs great on Heather. I've also used the apps to edit photos. They're kind of more like Photoshop style apps because Canva is a little bit different. There are tons of web apps that you can use in this operating system. And that's why I think it's one of the best operating systems for the Raspberry Pi, just how stable and simple and quite useful this is. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to check out this operating system I will leave links down in the description. Until next time we will see you next time. If you are new to the channel consider subscribing. It's for Nankiwi. Thank <laughs> you.